Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing with the NHL previews series video and today we are going to be talking about the New York Islanders. New York Islanders definitely a very interesting team heading into the NHL season 2021 and of course the biggest question connected to the Islanders is uh, if and I guess for how much will Matthew Barzell, the main star of the Islanders, stay in the New York? Of course, one of the greatest stars of the New York Islanders, John Tavares, left for Toronto a few years earlier. Uh, and right now, it seems that Matthew Barzell is staying. It's, it's more than likely that Matthew Barzell will stay in New York with the Islanders. Uh, he's a restricted free agent. Uh, but the question is for how much? And as you can see over there, cap hit for New York Islanders over 77 million. They actually have only over 3 millions of cap space left so they would have to make some changes in order to sign Matthew Barzell. You would think that definitely he would demand um, from the Islanders more than 5 million so some cap uh, changes you know some um, some changes uh, in um, you know uh, about money definitely must be considered within the New York Islanders organization if they want to keep their brightest star Matthew Barzell and I think this would be one of the biggest stories and one of the most exciting stories to watch uh, before actually the start of uh, this upcoming season and we have like till the upcoming season only six days left so really it's coming still closer and closer and of course the main priority for the New York Islanders would be to make sure that Matthew Barzell will be able to play right from the beginning, from the first game. That's the main priority for the New York Islanders. So let's jump right into this preview. Last, last three seasons for the Islanders, season 17-18, of course not that good, only 80 points, but then that uh, just great improvement, 103 points in the season 18-19. That was of course the effect of the bringing into the town the coach, Barry Trotz, he has won the Stanley Cup in 17-18 with the Washington Capitals and of course famously he left the Capitals, he could not, uh, you know, decide or um, he couldn't come to terms with the uh, management of the Capitals so he decided to move along and he went to the New York Islanders and he greatly transformed this this team and he did some great things here. Just unbelievable. Last season, New York Islanders were projected to finish with 96 points after the full 82 games schedule. Last season, actually, power play for New York Rangers over 17%, not that good, only 25th best in the league. But we all know that definitely offensive side of the game is not the main, uh, the main weapon of the New York Islanders. Uh, we all know that New York Islanders is, especially under Barry Trotz, mainly a defensive team. And that has been proven even by these numbers. PK, a little bit better, over 80%, averaging 15 best in the NHL last season. Goals for, not that good once again, as I have said earlier. The offensive part of the game, not that good um, when we consider it with the Islanders, only averaging 2.78 goals per game. That's only 22nd best in the league. And goals against, actually 2.79. So that's a little bit, that's actually a lot better, 9th best in the NHL. NHL. So goals against, penalty kill, pretty good uh, penalty uh, power play, sorry, and goals for not that good. They definitely will want to improve in the defensive part of the game. However, I'm not that sure if they can make it with this offensive group. But we'll see Barry Trotz, as I have said earlier, earlier is a brilliant coach, so definitely uh, we cannot rule anything out when Barry Trotz is uh, in the bench, on the bench. Uh, injured, of course, Johnny Boychuk uh, officially retiring from hockey. That's, I think, uh, very, very bad news for Barry Trotz. Of course, it's connected to his eye injuries. He has uh, two injuries on the same eye. Johnny Boychuk, very unfortunate for him. I hope uh, all the best for Johnny Boychuk. And uh, he definitely will be missed on that Islanders blue line. And that's, uh, that's a great, uh, you know, uh, a great downside for New York Islanders heading into this new season 2021. So let's look at the actually roster of the New York Islanders. I got all these line informations and also the ratings of uh, lines uh, from the dailyfaceoff.com. So Daily Faceoff says that the first line of the New York Islanders this season, providing of course that Matthew Barzell will sign 
sign with the Islanders before the season start will be Lee, of course, cap uh, Captain Anders Lee on the left wing, then Barzal in the center, Eberly on the right wing. That is projected by the daily face of once again to be 19th best. Uh, first line in the NHL. The second line, most probably Bovillier, Nelson and Bailey, that is projected to be 25th best second line in the NHL. Third line, most probably will be Delco, Peugeot and Wallström, that is projected to be 18 best in the league. Uh, of course, I think that those uh, first three centers and also Sizikas, I think those four centers, Barzal, Nelson, Peugeot and Sizikas, that's a pretty, I think, solid group of centers, but those wingers, uh, that's where the problems could lie within New York Islanders, I think. Um, the fourth line, Lad, Sizikas and Clutterbuck, 21st uh, best fourth line in the NHL, according to the daily face-off, once again. Uh, Let's look at also the defensive pairing for the Islanders. The first defensive pair, of course, without Johnny Boychuk, it most probably would be Pelech and Pulak. Uh, it is projected to be only 21st best first defensive pair in the league. Second defensive pair, uh, Letty and Mayfield, that is projected to be only 27 best defensive pair, second defensive pair in the NHL, and number third, number three defensive pair, most probably Hickey and Dobson, that is uh, projected to be, by the daily face of 19 best uh, third defensive pair in the league. So on that blue line, some issues as well. And uh, goalies, well, goalies for the next season, Semyon Varlamo and Ilya Sorokin. Uh, of course, I think a lot will depend on Ilya Sorokin. It's his first season in the NHL with the Islanders, his first season ever um, outside of Russia. He had some great numbers in the Russia, in the KHL, so definitely a lot will be expected from, from Ilya Sorokin. And one very interesting fact, which I definitely find very interesting, is that the both teams from New York, so Islanders and New York Rangers, have all of their goaltenders Russians. In New York, of course, it's the tandem in New York Rangers, Georgiev alongside Shestorkin. And in New York Islanders, it's Semyon Varlamo alongside Ilya Sorokin. And if there is one thing where New York Islanders organization has done great in the recent uh, years, basically, it's in the goaltending area. Of course, uh, they, they had Grice, uh, he left but he was a great goalie after Barry Trotz came into the town, so they let Grice go. Um, yeah, and uh, they also had Lenner, Robin Lenner, now they have Varlamo, it just seems that every goaltender that is playing for New York Islanders just automatically raises his level, like above 90, about 100%, that's just unbelievable. So I think that Sorokin will be will be playing well because he's just in New York Islanders and when you consider those goalies that just left New York Islanders in the recent months like Leonard and Grice, those like unbelievable goalies you know in the recent seasons uh, and Varlamo is playing really well. I think that every goaltender pretty much that is playing under Barry Trotz in New York Islanders will be very very good. I don't know what they are doing with them honestly but it seems not a it doesn't seem, it is for real that they are doing a really great job with goaltenders, so definitely kudos to the New York Islanders for doing great with their goalies. And uh, let's look at the restricted free agents uh, of the New York Islanders that will be restricted free agents after this coming season ends. So the first res restricted free agent, Ilya Sorokin, because he has signed a three-year contract and right now this will be his third year of his contract. So after this season he will be a restricted free agent, so definitely he will be hoping for a very good season so that he could demand a lot of money. But we'll see how he will do. Another restricted free agent would be Pelech on the blue line and then two left wingers, Bovillier and Dal Cole. I think definitely signing Anthony Bovillier would be uh, a priority for New York Islanders and also to sign KC Sizikas who will be an uh, unrestricted free agent. So these guys uh, won't have contracts uh, or their contracts will expire after the season. No big name, of course, I think, no that big of a name as Matthew Barzell, who is still not signed, so we are still waiting for the official news of signing Matthew Barzell. I personally expect that the deal would be done before the season starts on the January 13th, but we never know. We never know in these negotiations that usually tend to be very, uh, very complicated. And my prediction for New York Islanders actually is to finish sixth in the Eastern Division. 
Uh, above them, I have first Boston, second Washington, third uh, Pittsburgh, fourth Philadelphia. I have on the fifth spot New York Rangers and on the sixth spot New York Islanders. Again, I know Bertrand is behind the bench, so with him anything could happen. He has proven me and I think a lot of fans wrong with this New York Islanders team in the recent uh, years. He has done an amazing job. So definitely they are capable of, with Barry Trotz, of anything basically. But just with this team uh, and with the roster, I think that, uh, that they just won't make it to the playoffs this time. That's just my personal prediction. But anyways, this is the preview for uh, the upcoming 2021 season for the New York Islanders. I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, if you did, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, guys. And also leave a like down below this video and comment. Uh, how do you think Islanders will do in this upcoming season? And if you do think that they will make playoffs or not? What's, what's your reactions to this New York Islanders team? So, okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I hope you stay safe, stay, safe, stay healthy. And I will talk to you again uh, probably very soon with another NHL video. So till then, bye for now. Bye, guys.